assembling a hand battering ram. First we're going to go through and knock out anything that's still stuck and organize all our pieces. Now the hand carrying sections have front and back portions to them. We're going to start with the core of the uh, ram. We'll put the glue on the piece that's going to go onto the core as not all parts of the uh, core touch the next level up. I'm just going to align it, keep an eye on it, try and keep it uh, fairly straight. And do the same thing with the other side, flip it over. And we're going to get to the uh, level with the wood grain here. Now the top edge of the ram's horns does not touch the base at all, so keep your glue tight to the ram's face. And just use the uh, main portion, the uh, pillar column kind of portion of the ram for most of the glue. I'm going to try and get it as straight as possible. You left a little slack inside the holes for the pieces that are going to go over the ram in case you are a little misaligned. After you glue it together, if you don't like how it is, you can always sand it. Okay, so we're going to do our collar here and it's going to start with one of the circles first, the smooth circles. And then in the middle of that is the uh, kind of the ribbed collar section and then another plain circle. And adding a little glue here on either side. Like I said, it is a little loose, so the side that will be touching it will depend on uh, gravity and how you're holding it at the time. This could take a little longer depending on what type of glue you're using. So as I said, these hand rams have, these hand holding parts for the ram have a front and back. And both sides have uh, the wood grain on them if you have that type of kit. If you don't have wood grain, then it won't matter. And then you're going to want to get them to align and focus on the square. And it goes a little slow right now. But then on the main porch body of the ram itself, you can see there are little lines there to denote where these uh, carrying arms will go. And just slide it on, set it in place, and then let your goose glue set up for a moment. Two. I'm brushing a little here. And then you just continue on doing the same process with the rest of the carry arms for the ram. I would say doing that, of gluing the arms together first and then letting them sit up and then attaching them to the main body of the ram. Last we have a, a trim piece for the end cap here of the ram. And then what we're doing is uh, one of the cutout portions from the squares of the arms. I'm going to glue on the end. You can leave it unglued if you prefer to have a little more texture on your kit. Um, I like it. It kind of cleans it up and finishes off the end nicely. And then I've taken some other ones from the uh, cutouts that will be in the bag with your parts. If you want to make a small base for it so it sits level, you can use anything else. You know, if you prefer something smaller, um, a little piece of rod or something, um, by all means, I'll put it on a base. But this is what the kit will have with it. Uh, these uh, punch outs from the uh, arms that we carry. Uh, and then you find your balance point. Do you glue your little stack together if you're using these pieces? And so it'll sit right and you can put it next to your troops. And that'll be it.